What's up guys, it is Jeff with iDownloadBlog. I'm gonna show you how to jailbreak iOS 5.1. Now, just a little backstory. This will only work with A4 devices um, and below. You cannot use this with an A5 device like the iPhone 4S or the iPad 2. And also, this is a tethered jailbreak, so just keep that in mind. I'm running iOS 5.1 on my iPhone 4. Here's my iPhone 4. Make sure you put the device in the DFU mode. Just hold the power button or the sleep button and the home button at the same time simultaneously for about 10 seconds and then let 10 seconds pass, release the sleep button, continue holding home, and then continue holding home for about 10 more seconds. And then your device should be completely black and you'll, you'll be in DFU mode. Now I know it's been quite a while since we've had to do this. Uh, so you know, you didn't have to do this with the iPhone 4S jailbreak. So just a quick refresher for those of you who forgot how to go into DFU mode there. Once you are in DFU mode, then it is time to take action. Make sure you download the latest version of Red Snow from iDownload blog. You can find it there. It is called Red Snow 0.9.10 Beta 6, and it works with iOS 5.1. You don't need to search for any firmware or anything like that. So that's the good thing about this latest jailbreak. Now you can see where it says connected iPhone 4 DFU mode, and at the top it says welcome. This is the latest version of Red Snow. So you know you're good. You're good to go with that. Now the only thing left to do, of course, is to click on jailbreak. So click jailbreak, it'll go through the exploiting with Lime Rain. You guys know the drill if you've been jailbreaking for any amount of time here. It'll go through, like I said, you don't need to point it to any firmware or anything like that. This is a really nice jailbreak tool. I really like Red Snow because it's so easy to do. You just click jailbreak, it'll go through, identify your firmware, etc., and get you going. So you can see it's preparing the jailbreak data here. And I've sped things up just a little bit for your convenience so you don't have to wait through all this. This takes a little longer than you see here, but it's not that much longer. Make sure Install Cydia is checked and then go ahead and click Next. Uh, once you click Next, it'll go through and actually really start to work on your device and get this thing jailbroken. So you'll see it downloading jailbreak data on your device like that. And it'll also take a little while. I'm going to speed things up here as well just to get you guys through this. Now, back in the upper left-hand corner of the screen right here, you should see where it says tethered jailbreak. So it'll tell you that this is a tethered jailbreak. Uh, that's okay. Just click OK there. That's fine. And then um, you can just click back on the red snow screen if you want to do that. Um, but we're done with this portion of the jailbreak. All you do is just be patient and let this thing run. You'll see the matrix mode here. And then we should be booting back up to our home screen in the very, very near future. So just hold your horses. Now again, just like I was saying, if you have an iPhone 4S, you have an iPad 2, do not upgrade to iOS 5.1 if you care at all. If you care at all about your jailbreak, don't upgrade. Because you, you can't jailbreak iOS 5.1 on the iPhone 4S or the iPad 2 anyway. So... Um, and you can't downgrade once you upgrade to those. You can't downgrade to any previous 5.x firmware on the 4S or the iPad 2 for that matter. So just keep that in mind. This is the iPhone 4. You can do this, of course, with the iPod Touch, fourth generation, etc. Now let's go ahead and unlock our device here. And then you'll see the white Cydia logo. That is because this is a tethered jailbreak and you haven't performed a tethered boot yet. So we need to go ahead and Put our device back into DFU mode like we did earlier. Just hold the home and power button 10 seconds, and then release the sleep or the power button, and then continue holding home for 10 more seconds. Then it'll go black. You want to get back over to red snow now, and then all you need to do is just click on just boot. Once you're in DFU mode, click just boot. It'll go through the exploiting with line rain again, and then you'll notice that your iPhone 4 will come back up, and then you'll actually be able to use your Cydia logo, your Cydia app icon. So you'll see this little pineapple logo during the boot process when you perform a tether boot. And I've sped this up a little bit just for your convenience again, because this takes a little while. So we'll just wait for that pineapple logo to get us back to the lock screen. There we are. So let's unlock our device. All right. And we should see the Cydia logo. Yes, it looks normal. So tap that, it'll open it up, ask you, who are you? Or a hacker this time. Tap done, it'll load, and then look at the bottom here. iPhone 4, GSM, iOS 5.1 on Cydia. What do you think about that? Let me know what you think in the comment section, folks. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.